Hey everybody, welcome to Fire in the Hole. Heiko and I tonight doing a bunch of reviews. We did uh, all the ammo box sauces. Now we're moving on to something that's probably going to be really painful. This one comes out of Hurtberry Farms. Uh, Drew Jacobson, if I'm not Yeah, correct. Andrew that's Jacobson correct. and yep. uh, Steve Best, actually. Okay, so, yeah. and uh, so they sent us this one. This one's the Chlorifier, and this one's supposed to be the hottest one that they've made so far. And uh, I cannot wait. I've been waiting... It's been sitting on the counter for quite some time, and uh, we're, I think we're both very anxious to, to have it. So uh, Heiko went and had the Peter Burger at uh, the Peter in Peter Peter Burger in Peter Burger. Yeah. Yes, and I had the Farm Challenge. The Challenge, challenge Burger, and yeah. so Heiko, who's never had capsaicin cramps, ended up with some uh, little beat up belly after that one. Yep. So And that sauce well isn't done. even as hot as this one, right? So. No, what they used there was the Spice Factory. They're almost out of that right now. They don't have any more, and this is the next one that they made. With the really unusual red label, right? Short yes, bottle correct. of Pinango, a little yeah. shorty bottle. Yeah. yeah. And they made this, and this is a Thai style uh, Churrasco hot sauce. And the ingredients are way too small for us to read. So Andrew was very nice to actually post them on my Facebook website. So. Right now, Greg can read it from there because it's much bigger than on the bottle. Okay, so the ingredients we have, and uh, asterisk, in organic ingredients. So we got whiter, wa whiter. Whiter and white sure. water vinegar. Yeah, <laughs> let's combine all the ingredients. Water, white vinegar, Carolina Reaper, fresh jalapenos, sugar, which is organic cane sugar, uh, fresh green Thai chilies, fresh green bell peppers, fresh Thai eggplant. That's a new one. Uh, unseasoned rice vinegar unseasoned mm -hmm. oh, and uh, fresh garlic kosher salt fresh parsley tamarind paste uh, ghost pepper red trinidad scorpion chilies uh, seven pot red brain strain chilies fresh thai basil fresh cilantro fresh lemongrass fresh mint leaves fresh garlic chives uh, garlic chives yum uh, mm -hmm. ginger root xanthan gum kefir lime leaves and javanese long peppers i know those from when i was living in the netherlands and those are freaking amazing they don't pack a lot of punch compared to some of the other peppers that are in there but they got a great flavor mm. so i've given it a good shake and i'm wow. going to be opening up the bottle now this one has lots of ingredients so yeah should be very complex and and i suspect a little hot i think so too mm. Even though at the, when you read the ingredients, sometimes the big ones don't stand out. But oh, they smell so good. I I'll, let you, I'll let you smell first, and then I'll give you my opinion. Ooh. So, okay, so I, I get a, a, a dill pickle scent exactly. sensibility. Exactly. I get the, pill, the, the, the pickle, pickle scent. Like with. kosher dills, not like, uh, yeah. like bread and butter, like, not exactly. like sweet and sour. Wow, we And the color, I don't know if you can see that the color on that and the consistency it's really chunky there's lots of bits and pieces lots of seeds and goodness and i'm expecting it to be a nice big good chew on this one i think so the great thing about herdberry is that they always do what i aspire to do and that is combine flavor with heat so i know it's going to taste good having eaten the actual herdberry Fine challenge. I know it's going to hurt me as well. So it's. I'm looking forward to so this, this. Actually, crazily enough, this is the first Hurtberry Farms sauce that I've tasted. So that that needs to be remedied also. Uh, wow, oh, thick. Look at that chunky pour. Look at that. Oh boy, I'm going in deep. I left a little on the lip for you there. Thank you. Oh, it smells different again. Still, still pickly, but. Oh, bigger. Yeah, wow. much more bold. Mm -hmm. Bold flavors and just, ah. Oh. That, that was a good, ah, oh, by the way. That is an amazing aroma. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to go in. I don't care what I'm, you do. I'm going in too. Okay, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh man, so good, so complex. You know so... what? Earlier in the night we were talking about this that on the spoon isn't always the best way to enjoy a sauce, but this sauce, oh, man, I, I wouldn't want to contaminate it with food. You, and the you heat know? comes in right now. Yeah. This, so much flavor. This would go well with Thai food for sure. Mm. This would go well with a lot of Oriental food. This oh. would go well in hamburgers. This would go yes. well. Yes. Uh, 
anything you can think of it would go well with. This mm -hmm. is really, really good. Very complex, very deep flavors, good amount of heat, slow building. Oh, I'm already breathing funny, so that's a good I sign. know. The good thing is I can feel my nose clogging up, which mm -hmm. which is a good sign. It's um, wow. It's great. Oh, that is luscious. That is just so incredible. much flavor in it. Mm. And that that pickly thing, it doesn't it doesn't permeate. It doesn't overpower it. On the spoon, it kind of did. In the nose, it, it overpowered. But and one thing on that I noticed ones. is that you don't mind this electro in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we had a discussion about yeah, that. <laughs> not, a, not a pinch of of soap flavor. Mm -hmm. This is it's so well balanced. That is one amazing sauce, and the heat is still building. Mm -hmm. I don't want to even end the video now because I want it, I want us to take it to to where it's going. My nose is sweating. That's a first tonight. I actually got no sweat going. You think I got my eyebrows going, so that's good. Mm -hmm. But so oh, much flavor. Oh man. I didn't I didn't double down on anything yet tonight, but this is gonna be the one. Because I want to ramp it up. I want to see what it's got. Show me what you got. Oh I'm starting to mouth breathe. That's always a good thing. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. It reminds me of like Strub's dill pickles. Oh, So the thing I really appreciate about this, it is really hot, but it doesn't, it's not harsh. Right. It is so well balanced. There's no harshness to it at all. Mm -hmm. You get so many in-depth flavors to it and tongue is going numb, which is a good sign. Yep. Um, it's really hot. It It's not harsh on my esophagus. It's not harsh on my stomach. It's just very well balanced. Yep. But the, the heat is is next level it's it's yep. definitely a top top uh, shelf freaking heat Woo. yeah mm. i love the texture too i love a real chewy sauce like that lots of bits and pieces and stuff mm. this would be a great ingredient sauce as well mm -hmm. just thinking of all the things i can do with this mm -hmm. this is coming home with me by the way yeah i knew that one wasn't <laughs> staying i already knew that much yeah that's a hell of a sauce though mm -hmm. that's really good mm. Mm -mm -mm. And like I said, heat heat keeps on building. Yep. It didn't plateau yet. It just gradually builds. It gives you the time to enjoy everything before it actually starts mm -hmm. burning you up. Yep. Before the heat overtakes the flavor. Yep. And it doesn't even really overtake it. You nope. still get the flavors in the back. That's why I doubled down. I went for another spoon because I wanted to refresh yep. the the initial flavor, which mm, that's just incredible. I, I could picture that a big dollop of that on a burger would just be incredible. Mm. Forgive me. Try that on hot dogs. Mm. Yeah. Like almost even, like yeah. a relish. Yeah. Or even like a sausage dog. Yeah. Even, even better. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Wow. And the heat, it's still, I'm starting to feel mm -hmm. it down here, which is surprising. Yeah, it's right, right around going, here right yeah, now. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. When you but it's in, not harsh. It starts it's not, going down. It's not. It's not aggressive, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, and it's honest heat. It's not like extract. It's not going to no. ruin your day. That's amazing. Mm. It will if you put it on a hamburger and you put too much on it. Right? Yeah, and then get into the driving position yeah, exactly. for a few hours right, right away. Right yeah. <laughs> that might beat up your belly. Wow. So, I got to hats off. Tip my hat to Hurtberry Farms for giving Heiko the first capsaicin cramps he's ever had. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Uh, you know what, uh, Phil uh, Patterson the other day posted a link to a shirt that he had made that said capsaicin cramps are uh, only temporary. Yeah. And, but my comment was, but persistent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hello, Lily. Hi, Lily. You got to be in the last one. I know. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you again, guys. Thank you, Hurtberry Farms. That was an night. amazing way to start. So finish the night. With Lily needing Heiko. Yeah. <laughs>